what's up y'all i am back 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 um first of all the last time y'all saw me was about a little over a year ago i believe my last video was a birthday vlog for a friend and i don't think i've been on here since why there are a lot of reasons why um but i came back because honestly y'all no cat no cat for y'all that don't know what no cat means it means i'm telling the truth i'm keeping it a bean a lot of people have come to me like joy why don't you do youtube anymore or oh i was watching your old youtube videos why'd you stop like i've been getting that constantly lately and i'm like yo like maybe that's a sign because it's true like you never know who's watching and so I just feel like, you know, because when I think about it, y'all, honestly, I love doing YouTube. Like, I love making videos. I love entertaining people, all that. So I'm like, why did I stop? Well, one, I think I never really thought people cared to watch me, honestly. So now hearing like, oh, you should post more videos and stuff like that. Like, I'm just like, dang, like maybe I was really on to something. And for me, honestly, like, don't get me wrong. Will I love to be a paid YouTuber? 100%. But at the end of the day, like, it's not just about the money. It's because I thoroughly enjoy it. So I really want to commit. And I know I've stopped and started before. But I really want to commit to, you know, being consistent with this. I feel like in the past year, so much has changed for me. I've changed so much as a person. Um, and so, yeah, like... I'm, I want to rebrand myself. I'm considering taking my old videos down um, and just starting fresh. I literally just want to rebrand myself. So, this video, as you can see by the title, is about my new life and going from Philly to Atlanta. So, without further ado, and we're going to stop rambling, we're just going to get right into the video. So, as most of y'all know, if you do not know, I am from Philadelphia, the 215, Philly, period. Um, I am from Philly, and I've lived in, you know, I grew up in Philly, PA, all that stuff, my whole life. My whole life. Um, never lived in another state or none of that. But, um, about a year ago, I would say, this around this time, last July 2021, um, I was presented with an opportunity by two of my close friends and I'm not going to share what the opportunity was or is yet because, you know, things are still in the work and I don't want to speak on something too soon. Those that are close to me know what I'm talking about, but we basically got started with the opportunity and we made the decision to move to Atlanta. Now... Y'all, when we started this, I would just call it a project. When we started this project, I did not know how far in the project we would go. Like, because honestly, things are presented to people or, you know, when you're in a friend group, y'all might talk about doing something. But sometimes real action is not taken. But little did I know that I would really become invested in seeing this project come to fruition. And, you know, two of my friends that i'm doing the project with they have you know wanted to see this project come to fruition as well so we decided in about april not april child what i'm talking about we decided back in about october or november that we would move to atlanta why you ask and i say atlanta but i really mean georgia um because there's a lot more opportunities here um you can really you know depending on what type of work you're trying to do like i said i'm not going to disclose it right now but depending on what work you're trying to do um this is really a good place to be la is also a good place a great place but la is expensive um i've always wanted to get into acting and that is one of the things i'm pursuing but that's not like the main reason that i moved um so once we made that decision 
you know, of course, it raises so many questions and we got to tell our family and our friends and things like that. Again, I've never lived out of state. Um, I had been on my own for a while, but I've never, you know, had been so far away that, you know, family or my close friends are not as easy, easily accessible. Now, friend wise, it is hard, but I don't have a lot of friends. So, you know, it's not like I left like 10, 20 friends. I have like two to three good friends back home in Philly and that's it. But I have definitely been able to maintain my relationship with them. Um, so anyway, let me stay focused. So we had to notify our family and friends and that was difficult. So if you know me, you know, like I'm really, I really play my aunt role. Like I don't play when it comes to my nieces and nephews. And so, you know, being present for events or, you know, different milestones in their life, things of that sort, you know, that has always been something that I've done. So I had to come to terms with like, with me moving to Georgia, like I wasn't going to be able to do that. Um, and that probably was one of the hardest things. And one of the things that almost kept me from coming because like, I know some people are like, girl, it's not that deep. Like you just an aunt, but like, y'all don't understand like aunts, we really like, we really like that. You know, we carry, if, if you know, you know. So like for me, that was, that was a hard realization. Um, also my church, like I've been at my church for years at this point and my church is my family. And so I feel like leaving my church was a big thing for me. And when I say leave my church, like not leaving, like I don't go there no more. I don't, you know, it's never that, but you know, not being NPA, I'm not going to be able to go every Sunday type thing. That's hard for me because I have been so like invested in, in my church, you know, so I knew that I wouldn't be able to see my pastor as much, wouldn't be able to see like, you know, my church family who I consider to be like my blood family. Like, and it was just, that was also something cause I'm like, I do not want to go to a new church. Like I don't want to have to look for churches down South and all that stuff. So that was one thing. Um, and then just like my family that I'm close to, you know, like my sister, my aunt, you know, stuff like that. Um, some of my cousins, all that. So, and I'm thinking like, are right, we going to be having different family events and y'all can fly out sometimes, but there's going to be times where I have to make sacrifices. And that was probably the only thing that really, you know, made me feel a little better about it. Like what I'm trying to do, my goal for being here, like is to really like come out of the mud. Like not that I'm in the mud right now, but I come from the mud, like real talk. Like I come from the mud. So like, I know that I've gotten myself with the help you know, of course with God, got myself to this point that I am right now. So I'm like, if I could get myself from point A, which was the mud, to point B, which is okay, I'm a, I'm doing all right. I know I can get myself to point C where I'm really flourishing and, and, and wealthy. Like my goal is to not be rich. My goal is to be wealthy. Like I want to be wealthy in so many areas of my life, financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, like all of it. So I know that I have to sacrifice, you know, being away from my church, being away from my family, being away from my friends, things like that. And then also one of the biggest part, hardest parts was, um, being away from familiarity. There's a difference from, if I get in a car right now, I can't just go somewhere just off the whim and knowing how to get there because I'm, you know, I'm from there or whatever. Like now I got to use a GPS everywhere I go. Um, it's just, I'm not familiar with all the stores or, you know, even like it's very slow paced down here. Like I feel like everybody moves like a turtle. Like I'm used to up North. We, we got, we want to get stuff done. Like that's how we are. Um, it's just so much, like it's so much that I've had to get used to, um, dating life, all that, that we'll get to in another video. Um, huh. It's just so much that I'm just not used to. It's just a different, it's a different vibe. It's a different feel down here. It's different places. You know, the food is good. Let me, let me state that. The food is good. The heat is not for me. As y'all can see, I don't even go outside, y'all. I really don't like, all honesty. But y'all see how dark I am. If you know me, you know that um, I'm never like this 10 or whatever. But this sun down here, like, 
this heat make you mad. Like, it make you, like, I'm irritated. Like, because what? Why would it ever be this hot? So, yeah, there's just been a lot of adjustments. Um, and then just going from living on my own by myself to living with friends. Um, it's been a it's been a good experience, you know. I think it's different living with guys friends versus female friends. Um, it's been I mean, I'm grateful that I don't have to cook because my friend, my two friends, they love to cook and you know, they go make sure we eat. I mean, I'll I'll help provide the food, all that do dishes, but cooking I, I know how to cook. I grew up cooking and I think that's why I don't like cooking now, because I'm over it. But, um, I mean, we, we respect each other's spaces. It's no beef. Like, you know, everybody's clean. We just, I don't know. It's just simple communication, simple respect. So, it, it's an adjustment in terms of, like, going from only thinking about yourself when it comes to household stuff to, you know, having to be considerate of certain things or whatever. And, you know, I'm a girl, so it's different. But, um, yeah, like, this whole transition has been such an interesting experience for me. I, it's crazy because, like, words are really powerful. When I was a kid, y'all, I used to say, when I grow up, I'm moving to Atlanta. I'm moving to Atlanta. I did not know why I was saying that. I did not, I swear to you, I did not know why I was saying that. I didn't know why I said Atlanta. I didn't know what, what was drawing me wanting to be there. I didn't know nothing about nothing. And I just always said that as a kid. Not even knowing that this was really where I was going to move to. Like, and so, yeah, words are powerful because, like, I didn't even know I was claiming that over my life. But I'm here. Um, You know, I've had a couple days where I feel, like, emotional or, like, I miss my family and stuff like that. But, you know, one thing about me, I'm going to thug it out. I'm going to thug it out. Um, But I, I do plan to take a trip there in a couple weeks back to the 215. Um, so I'm excited for that to see my, a couple family members, um, and a couple friends. So that'll be nice. But y'all, I just want to say like, and this video is probably not even what I want it to be. I'm just talking, but I just want to say, if you have a plan or you have an idea that you want to do something, do it. Like I used to hear that all the time and I used to be like, all right, I'm going to do Like I didn't honestly... I really feel like what, what pushed me to move down here is that I didn't do too much talking. Like, I was just making decisions. I didn't even know, and a lot was relying on faith. I didn't know how a lot of things would happen. I didn't know how, you know, I'm still finding a job and all that, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm going to be super transparent with y'all. I'm still finding a job and stuff. Thank God that God has still, like, been provided for me and stuff like that. But that transition is hard because, you know, that was also nothing. Leaving my job at home, like, my job was cool. Like, I had a great, and still do, had have had a great relationship with my boss, with my coworkers. Like, that was, like, another another family for me. Um, and, yeah, like, it was it was great. I Going for, straight from college into a job that, like, anybody would, would love that. Um but yeah i had to de depend on a lot of faith of course some you know you still got to do actions or whatever along with that faith but it was a lot of unknown i didn't know how i was going to get all my stuff here i didn't know how i was going to get my car here i didn't know i didn't i didn't know i didn't know y'all and when i tell you one thing i can say is just make sure you have money saved up because the moving process even if you're moving in your city or your own state like the moving process is expensive so moving to georgia was another thing like i was going to get my car shipped but that was so much money so i decided to just drive like and a lot of people was like girl you're crazy you cannot drive by yourself y'all i did the whole drive by myself non-stop i literally only stopped for gas and that's it no sleep breaks or nothing like i was just so determined like yo i i know i'm a, a woman at the end of the day but like i can do this like i can do this i packed my car up y'all i literally packed my whole life up and moved away like pack in my suitcase and just changed my whole life is it scary heck yes i mean keep it a buck with y'all it's scary um it's a lot of the unknown like y'all before we even got approved for our place i ended my lease back at home 
some people will be like, girl, what is wrong with you? Like, and the apartment shopping process down here was H-E double hockey sticks. It was really hell because it, it just was so, so much. And if y'all want to know more about that or y'all thinking about moving, like, I can answer any questions. I actually, my next video is going to be a Q&A. So stay tuned for that. But y'all, the process was H-E double hockey sticks. And I just, I don't know. Like, a lot of it was fake. Like, sometimes people were like, Joy, you're so impulsive. Or you're, you like my eyes say all the time, you live on the edge. Or my, my bro, he'd be like, um, you're, uh, you're reckless and stuff like that. Like, I just feel like some instances I am, I do draw, like I'm too impulsive, but in other instances, like for me, like I really try not to worry. I know that's easier said than done, but y'all like, I'm not about to sit up here and continue to live this life that I'm not a hundred percent happy with. And maybe I'll never find 100% happiness, but I want to do whatever it takes to get close to 100% as possible. And I just feel like people, there's always going to be a reason not to do something. But you got to pay attention and stay focused on the reasons to do that. Like, if I continue to stay where I am, like, I'm going to be comfortable. And comfort is doesn't bring success. Like, I'm just going to stay in that. So I just felt like I needed to get up and just do it. Of course, having two friends that was had the same mindset was helpful because, you know, we were pushing each other and encouraging each other. But y'all, like, I really just want to say to somebody, like, whatever it is you're thinking right now, like, as I'm speaking these words, if you have this idea in your head that's been sitting in your head, get up and do it. Like, we said that we wanted to move to Georgia by May. And we signed our lease on April, I want to say 18th. Like, we was not playing games. We got so many no's for places and stuff, which can be discouraging, can make you think, like, maybe this isn't for me. We got so many no's, but we were determined for a yes. Do you hear me? We were determined. Like, I was just like, I don't care what I got to do. I don't care if I got to live in an Airbnb until I get approved for our apartment. Like, I was determined. It can get expensive or it can get frustrating. It can be stressful. But, like, anything worth having is not going to come easy. Like, and I know some of this stuff sounds like a cliche, but I like I really learned that through this process. Like, I want to be that person in my family. Like, I I'm, I'm I want to continuously break generational curses. I want to continuously break, you know, go against the barriers of you know what has been done. Like, I want to exceed all of that. I want to exceed all of that. Like, I want to provide generational wealth. Like, I don't want to be okay or just accept the bare minimum. So, I, yeah, like, moving from Philly to Atlanta, and it's a whole lot more I could go into detail, but I don't want to make this video too long. But it has been interesting. It's July, today's July 26th. Um, although we signed our lease in April and was down here, I had went back to Philly and was there for a couple weeks. So, I would say I've been here for, like, like this weekend or maybe, like, two months. So, two months. Um, haven't been here long, but you know, sometimes the days go fast, sometimes they go slow, but everything is a learning process. And one thing I will say, do not let people place fear in you. Like some people are going to look at your journey or see what you're doing and doubt that and speak everything against you or, you know, just negativity or girl, you're not going to make it. You're not going like, and don't accept that. Don't accept that and prove them wrong. But one thing I can say is like, and that I've learned, God forbid, even if what I came here for does not work out, it's okay. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with this didn't work out for me. I want to go back home. It's nothing wrong with that because one, I can at least say I tried. I gave it my all. Like if you know you're giving something, you're all like, can't nobody speak on it. So I feel like I gave, I'm giving it my all. And that's all I can do. I pray about it. I put it in God's hand. I ask God to guide me and to give me direction and wisdom. And with my hard work and God, whatever's meant to happen is going to happen. Can me no or nobody else stop from stop what's meant to happen to happen? Like I can't stop it. A friend can't stop it. A family member, naysayers, all that. If God wants this to happen and it's in God's will, it's going to happen. So, y'all, I am just here to say that, one, I am back. 
I am back and this time I am back just as a new person. Like I'm I'm it's a new it's a new me. Like I'm really soul searching. I'm really trying to do things that make me happy. I'm trying to keep my spirits up and really encourage myself even when I don't feel the best. And hopefully I can be an encouragement for somebody else. And I just want y'all to follow on this journey with me. Um and it's so I know it's so much more in store. Uh, when I do go to Philly f in in a couple weeks, I am going to vlog. So it's my birthday. It's my aunt birthday, and I got two baby showers. So I am going to vlog because that weekend is going to be really nice um, and a good time. And like I said, my next video after this one is going to be a Q and A. So I'm going to post questions on my story. I mean, um, like a box for y'all to put questions on my story, and y'all post some interesting stuff um if you're not following me make sure you follow me my name is joy two underscores on instagram make sure you follow me um i'm thinking about making my page public my page has always been private i'm thinking about making it public but i'll have to think about it. i got like 900 follower requests right now and yeah so i don't know it's a consideration but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for what's to come and the journey that I'm be on. Um, I appreciate all of the love and support. We don't pay attention to the haters or the naysayers. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like and thumbs up. And make sure you comment and share with all of your fellow people. And y'all stay blessed until next time. Bye. I've been contemplating, meditating, should have waited.